Welcome back once again, guys. This is Archangel, and we are back with Venom Snake, no longer Naked Snake. And we are going to be doing some missions in Afghanistan. Uh, let's see here. Boss, I know you haven't been back long, but I've prepared a list of missions for you. Open your eye dry. Uh, yeah, just a second. Strange. Yeah, maybe I'm used to different kind of controls or something. I don't know. Maybe it's the graphic settings. Let me see if I can change these. It's odd. I thought I had these set to extra high. Let me change those back. Hmm. I did turn the volumetric clouds off because honestly they don't they don't really add much to the game at all and you know honestly they just make your frame rate go down and I don't think my frame rate was really affected much by them but you know I don't want to take the chance anyway yeah all right well I guess I'll just stick with this whatever Okay, so we got a mission list. Please um, select a mission. I've taken the job offers Diamond Dogs has received and made a list of those I want you to consider. Which ones you accept is your call. The objectives of the missions I've added are prisoner rescue, facility sabotage, and high value target elimination. Probably all a walk in the park for you, but they should help you get back on your feet. I put the mission details on a cassette tape. Refer to it if you decide to accept the mission. We'll receive GMP for completing missions, and extracting soldiers and prisoners will boost our ranks. Building up Mother Base is the first step to achieving our goal. If that means wet work, so be it. We're gonna have to get our hands dirty. I hope you're rested up, because we're not stopping. Not until the pain is gone. The future of Diamond Dogs is in your hands. We're counting on you, boss. Okay, so we can actually do these out of order. Um, but before we do, I'm going to actually do a bit of development. We have a bunch of stuff that we can develop right now, and I don't see much point in putting it off. I have a lot of money. I do have cassette tapes that I can listen to, and I will be listening to those as the game progresses while I'm in the middle of missions and stuff. Currently I have 25 of them. Now, one of the things, that, which was kind of a bone of contention, was... Um, that a lot of the backstory was explained, uh, relegated to cassette tapes uh, for this game. And a lot of players liked that, because you could uh, listen to the backstory and it was entirely optional. Um, but see, the way they did it in previous Metal Gear games was that, you know, it was kind of explained by characters in cinematic cutscenes. In conversations and stuff Please like that. Conversations on Codex. Which I kind of miss. I'm kind of one of the players that kind of misses that. And so, yeah, the cassette tapes. Not not a big fan of them, but whatever. This game still does have great gameplay. I just kind of wish that it was a little heavier on the story in places, but whatever. Anyway, these are sneaking suits that are for women only. Um, it's an Eva jumpsuit and a uh, sneaking suit that the boss wore in uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. Not the big boss, but the boss. His mentor. Um, uh, he can't wear them himself, but female characters can. Now, we will get female characters later on as the game progresses. And we can actually use them in missions and stuff. So, we'll develop. These are different camos that Snake can wear. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just develop all this stuff. Everything on the screen is stuff that I can currently develop. Now I'm gonna show you some of the other screens as well. Uh, C4 is definitely useful. Um, I'll worry about what I'm gonna equip on a different screen. Asking me. <laughs> Forgot 
God's sake, stop asking me, you fool. <sighs> okay. Alright, that's really annoying. Smoke grenades are really, really useful. Um, a lot of players don't realize just how useful smoke grenades really are. They are incredibly useful. Uh, I will definitely show off just how useful they are in the playthrough. Um, you're going to see me utilize smoke grenades a lot. Uh, anyway, these are the screens where you can see like what you can make eventually. Like handguns, shotguns, grenade launchers. Uh, now see, like this for instance is uh, the first tier of grenade launcher. Now we don't have a high enough R&D team yet. We have a um, R&D team four. It's we need an R&D team of seven. Um, we'll get that soon, and then we can make a grenade launcher. These are the sniper rifles. I'm not gonna worry about this stuff right right now. Um, this will all come into play. Um, but yeah, there are a ton, a ton of weapons, machine guns. Uh, a ton of gear that you can get, rocket launchers, personal shields, throwing weapons, um, decoys, placed weapons, uh, like mines, uh, anti-tank mines, uh, there are cardboard boxes, phantom cigars, I'll explain those later, um, all sorts of stuff. <laughs> Upgrades to your Fulton device, your iDroid, your Inscope, everything. Yeah, so... Tons and tons. So needless to say, your R&D team is very important in the game. Oh, I mean, all of the teams really are important. They have their their uses, but R&D especially is really, really important. This is where you get all your goodies. This is actually our first sniper rifle. It's not very good, but, I mean, hey, it's the first one, so... Also, you will come to find that during this playthrough, I will attempt to try to avoid using lethal Please means of taking out the enemy. Not that I'm completely averse to using uh, lethal means. Farming of villages out. in southern Vahan have been subjected to a strategic bombing campaign the past several weeks. The damage is spreading. It's part of the Soviet scorched earth operation aimed at wiping out the guerrillas. The target this time is the commander of a Spetsnaz detachment. He's been key to the operation's success. People say this guy's responsible for annihilating the Mujahideen at Tsmasi Laman, the Hamid fighters, overnight. He's a tough, experienced commander. Don't underestimate him. The order from my client in the West is to shoot on sight. They want him out of the picture for good. Sorry, boss. This one's purely business. Wet work. A hit on a commanding officer of the Soviet military. Nothing personal. We're only doing this because it gets us one step closer to our goal. Speaking of which, um, I am not going to be killing this guy. The order is to kill him. Mission accepted. Heading to and I could. It is an option. But I'm actually going to try to recruit him. It's harder to try to recruit him than it is to kill him. It's actually quite easy to kill him. I could actually just take a sniper rifle and blow his head off. That's really simple, but I'm going to try to get in there and capture him, which is much harder. In fact, I'm going to make it my mission to capture every single person in this enemy outpost, which is considerably difficult, especially at this point in the game. But I'm going to do it anyway. I could wear my tuxedo and make it really hard on me, but I'm not stupid. Uh, this is the sneaking suit from Metal Gear Solid 3. This is what Naked Snake wore. This is what I wore uh, during that game. This was from 1964. Uh, this came with the Metal Gear Solid Definitive Experience or whatever. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wear this. There are a bunch of vehicles that I could go ahead and deploy with if I wanted to. This is from a previous playthrough, but I'm not going to. No point. I got my horsey. I still need to think of a name for him. Um, Danny's a really stupid name, but so is D-Horse. So. <laughs> uh, I think I will go with smoke grenades. You never know. I, I might end up using them. 
something goes wrong. C4 is always useful, so I probably will take that. Um, I think that's a pretty good loadout. I think we'll go. Okay, now this is when you're going to commence the mission. Um, 1800 hours is nighttime. That's like when the sun sets. 600 hours, 0, 0600 hours is dawn. That's a morning mission. ASAP just is when whatever time it currently is. So obviously we're going to go in at night. Especially with the sneaking suit on. Always best to go in at night. Sometimes it is best to go in during the day during certain missions, but not on this one. Your target is a Spetsnaz detachment commander. Your orders are to take him out. With skills like his, it'd be a shame to waste him. Then I'll leave the method up to you. Boss. Make your way to Deshago Calais and eliminate the target. Now I know that I'm explaining a lot of stuff right now, but I'm trying to get it sort of out of the way because there is a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> uh, so later on in the LP, I don't have to explain much of anything. We can just have fun. It's sort of a crash course of how to play Metal Gear Solid Five. <laughs> you are talking to the compounds from plants to make medicine or poison for use in new weapons and equipment. Take a look at the plants list on your iDroid to see which ones we need. Then go find them if you get the chance. It'll keep the staff happy too. No, oh, I'm sure it will. Bunch of damn stoners. Alrighty. So we're moving toward our marker. Anytime that it's a yellow marker like that, it's already preset by the uh, computer. We can set our own markers, of course. Those will show up at night. And it's not far. We're almost there. Extraction arrived at the you have arrived at the destination. You've arrived at the objective. Your target should be somewhere in that outpost. And don't forget, he has a Spetsnaz recon detail with him. Keep yep. your guard up. There's a lot of scouting we can do here because there are a lot of guards. And I hear did I hear? Oh yeah. <laughs> We're the kids in America. There is some more 80s music for me to steal. And you better believe I'm going to be stealing that shit. Okay. So. Bunch of soldiers. Bunch of guards on patrol and a bunch of lookouts too. Okay, and that's our target right there, the guy with the Is that him? Take a good look at their faces so we can ID the targets. No, oh, that's that's definitely him. The game's not recognizing it for some reason, but that's definitely him. I have no idea what you're saying, pal, but it doesn't matter. Okay. The guy there on the spotlight. Usually guys out here in the field. Yep, there's one of them. Mm. I don't know. There's usually more guys than this, so... Probably end up running face first into them, but... Oh well. Let's get this show rolling. Generally speaking, on an infiltration mission, it's not a good idea to go sprinting into it, but... Well... I'm an expert. <laughs> Those materials have already been processed. It may not be much, but we can use them straight away if you bring them back to base. Now watch. Call myself an expert, and then I... I... Will gloriously... Screw up this mission. I can just see it happening. <laughs> Uh, 
believe me, when I first started playing this game, I royally screwed up this mission over and over again. Uh, I was by no means an expert. Now, mind you, I've played the Metal Gear, Metal Gear series plenty for plenty of years prior to playing this, but this is on a whole new level. And, uh, yeah. I got my butt kicked more than once. And I got used to it. Each player kind of develops their own style to play, too. There are a bunch of different ways that you can approach different, you know, scenarios. And I can't really interrogate these guys, so... I don't have an interpreter, so all I can do is fault them. But once I can interpret them, uh, holding them up will become much more interesting. Too. Roger that. You can get all sorts of information out of them. Like enemy movements and where their specialists are and where hidden caches of weapons are, all sorts of stuff. Where the prisoners are being kept. Bunches of information. There's another guy there. And these are old uh Grapevines. Uh, obviously, they're not bearing fruit, but they can make for good cover. Uh, oh! He spotted me, but that could be useful if I can draw him out here. Uh, he didn't actually spot spot me, he just saw movement, so he's suspicious. That just means that he's coming to check it out. If he had spotted, spotted me, then it would have gone into reflex mode, and then I would have had to put him down, or he would have triggered an alert. Yeah, I think I got him, got him in the arm there. Ah, somebody, it looks like he's got a friend. Somebody else saw me. Yep. Yeah. How's it going, buddy? Why don't you go check on your friend? You should you should check on your friend. Your friend is sleeping on the job. I think he's lazy. He's a lazy Russian. You should do something about him. Yeah, see? My friend's just lying down on the job. He's lazy and stupid, just like you. Are you going to do something about it, or are you just going to sit there? Come on, man. Come on. Go. Your friend needs you. He, he needs you to, you know, berate him on his, uh... <laughs> work ethic. That's what I was going to say. Anyway, let's get these guys out of here. Now, it's important that when you Fulton guys, do not Fulton them really close to the enemy. Try to get them at least, like, 35 to 40 meters away from the other guys, because if you try to Fulton them when you're really close, they're going to notice. And they'll trigger an alert. They'll be like, what the hell? And they'll freak out. So, don't do it unless you're intentionally trying to stir up stir up shit. Which actually I have done that before. But like, okay, I want to stir up shit. So. But in most situations that's not a good idea. Subject on board. Can be tact the rest tactically uh, advantageous, but not in most cases. Now it looks like they I'm here, let's go. I don't know, maybe he replaced his friend or something. Maybe they have a history of like just wandering off. He's like, oh, I better come up here and replace my stupid friend and wander off. <laughs> yep. Well, you're coming home with me, and I'm committing suicide. I, I, I don't even know why I did that. I pressed the wrong button, I think. I'm sure that's what it was. I'm 
Fultoning all these guys, I'm gonna run out of Fulton devices soon. But in the event that that happens, I can always just call for a supply drop to get some more. So it's no big deal. He's coming too. Roger that. Yeah, he's coming too. They all are. Now the reason I'm Fultoning all these guys is not only to get them off the battlefield, but also because in this early part of the game, that's pretty much what you do. Because I'm severely short-staffed at Mother Base right now, so I really need to fill my ranks. And right now, the rule of thumb is, take anybody. You can sort them out later. <laughs> right now, we just, we need warm bodies. That's, that's the general rule. So, anyway. Um, when taking down places like this, you want to uh, take out the outer patrols uh, first, and just sort of systematically work your way inward. Um, it may be a bit time-consuming, but if your goal is to capture the entire outpost... <laughs> I was, <laughs> I was holding my breath there. Uh, it was close. Um, if your goal is to capture the entire outpost, then that's the way to do it. Now, if your goal is to simply get in and get out, then obviously you wouldn't do it this way. But my goal is to capture the entire outpost, so... Uh, there is a hidden cache of supplies here. Material here. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Yeah. That is one of the secondary mission tasks. It's optional. You don't have to do it, but it is to pick up that hidden cache of uh, metal. There's also an herb out in the desert you can pick, but it's kind of hard to find. And I'm not going to bother with it until I replay the mission. And I'll do that off screen. Make you guys sit through it. <laughs> See, as a general rule, it's not a good idea to be running around, because I could have run right into that guy like an idiot. So and I, complete. And yes, I have done that before. <laughs> uh, when infiltrating, um, it the general rule is slow and steady wins the race now. Please specify a project. Ranking wise, um, you do get a higher ranking based on your time. So the less time you take on a mission, the better. Ah! But you also get a much higher ranking if you get perfect stealth and no kills. Which generally that's what I'm going for. He's coming too. Roger that. There's no guarantee that I'm gonna get an S rank, because I mean I am capturing the entire outpost. Which takes some time, so I'm probably gonna get either an A, possibly an S, depending. I like to call these guys Moogles. They remind me of the Moogles from Final Fantasy. Because the um, red dot reminds me of the pom poms. See you later, Mog. <laughs> I saw that he had 90%. I was afraid that he was the uh, thing was going to fail and he was going to die. That crack would make a good foothold. Yeah, I know. You can use crack climbing to make your way up. I, I already know this. Uh, discuss this with us a lot. Did he not tell you any of this? God, Kaz. I'm getting on my nerves. <laughs> Sorry. I, I have to explain all this stuff to you, so I don't have to do it later. <sighs> anyway.
Let's see if we can draw this guy to us. Come on, dummy. God, I, I don't think this guy has any... Development complete. I was going to say, does he have any situational awareness at all? Come here. Development yeah. complete. That's right. Come here, stupid. Got something for you. Pay no attention to the man throwing magazines at you. <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing. <laughs> yes. Come this way, fool. He's going to fall. Ooh! You may have spotted me. You don't need to tattle on me. Come on, just get your ass over here. Come on. Uh, sp sp splitter, splatter, porno, whatever the hell you're saying. Obviously, I don't speak Russian. Will you just get over here? Come on. I wonder where, <laughs> where all these magazines are coming from. You notice that the music becomes a bit more ominous and stuff when the enemies start noticing something's up. So the music is dynamic. It's based on the situation. <laughs> And yes, that sound is from the six million dollar man. Anytime you use your bionic uh, arm to punch a guy out like that, it makes that sound. And we got a sandstorm. Extraction failed. <laughs> oh, whenever the extraction fails like that, um, so a sandstorms come in. That means that the guys dead. Sandstorms effectively make you blind and deaf. But that goes for the enemy too. Use the situation to your advantage. It's actually a good idea. Let's go ahead and try that. Typically in sandstorms, it's a it's a better situation for snake than it is for the enemy. Usually. And usually I'll have night vision goggles on me too, which will make it even more in my advantage. I don't have them yet. But I usually will. I can go ahead and take these guys out. They probably won't even notice. Yep. See, that guy's blind. <laughs> he's, he's covering his face. So he has no clue that I just knocked out his friend. Yep. Move on to the next. Come on, Slappy. Take you down too. So actually, that sandstorm kind of worked out in my favor because these guys can be a little problematic to take out sometimes, especially when you're trying to trank them and they can trigger uh, an alert. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Now, what causes your uh, Fulton success rate to go up is dependent on uh, your support team's level. So, if they're of a higher level, then um, the success rate will go up. So He's coming try too. to get guys that Roger are that. higher quality on your support. And eventually they'll be able to hold people, like even in sandstorms and stuff like that. Please, supplies requested. We're almost out, so. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. And I'm just gonna run around like an idiot. 
Oh yeah, I guess I could show you uh, a couple things here. Um, when you lay down prone like this, you can actually roll. Supply you, drop complete. Uh, or holding your gun out, and you click the left thumbstick to roll left and right like this. It's actually tactically advantageous. And if you move the right thumbstick like this, you can actually change your position. Have a snake fly on his back. And he can also take a nice little, nice little nap. <laughs> and as I showed you before at uh, Mother Base, if you wait directly underneath the supply drop, you can have it uh, slam Snake right in the head. Which serves no purpose, but it's just really funny. so he's always the hardest to get to. And you always want to try to crawl past this window, otherwise he usually will see you. He's having somebody check it out, but I thought he was alone. I don't, I don't think anybody's left. I think he's by himself now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're both, dude. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. See, this thing here is an anti-air placement. What I'm going to do is plant some C4 here, and if I blow it up, then this will actually uh, allow me to open up a new uh, helicopter landing point. It'll allow the helicopter to land right outside this village. Just... Ooh! 
Go down, monster. My Moogle. My Russian Moogle. <laughs> I'm very rough with my Moogles. <laughs> you can always try I love again. that. <sighs> I never get tired of folding people. <clears throat> Alright, time to take this guy out. Accomplished. Let's go ahead and just grab the crap around this room. Easy peasy. That's how it's done, guys. It took us a little while, but man, this mission went off without a hitch. And these, this is, um, these are the communication devices. If you blow up these, either with a gun or you know, with explosive C4, grenade, whatever. Uh, it will knock out their communications, and they cannot radio for backup from any other base. So it's a good idea to knock those out. It hasn't been said it will alert them to your presence, so just be aware. Um, obviously, I don't need to knock them out now because there's no one left, but I'm just doing it out of principle. <laughs> so, <laughs> just to show you guys, you can knock out their communications. Alright, so I think we're done here. I think I've pretty much got everything we can. So it's time to go ahead and blow up this, uh, blow up the C4 I said. No, 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 no. Let the support oh, unit help out if you need to restart. Yeah, I gotta get away from him because I don't want to accidentally blow him up. Supplies right away. <laughs> That'd be a hell of a way to end this. Okay, let's get you away from there, pal. All right, let's blow up our C4. There we go. You destroyed their anti-air radar? It wasn't one of the targets, but that's put a hole in their air surveillance. The chopper will be able to get in close now. You can designate a landing zone near the outpost. And we're going to do just that. Okay, we just uh, called for the chopper to land right outside the village. And we're going to have the chopper come both of us up. I could Fulton him. That's, that's definitely an option, but I can also have the chopper come and pick us up, which is what I'm going to do. Not much else to do, so might as well just act like an idiot. <laughs> uh, play catch with him. It's coming. This is B Quad. Arriving shortly at LZ. Yeah, oh shit. Oh crap. <laughs> Hurry up, B Quad. <laughs> Sounds like there, there, was, there was a. I don't know, a truck or something that came. They're firing at our helicopter. Come on, dude, land! Come on, 
Alright, get us out of here. Yeah, they're fire. You see, they're they're hitting our helicopter. That's all right. We got out. <laughs> it takes a lot of small arms fire to take that helicopter. So we're fine. Development project is being added. Okay. Got a bunch. Of yes. Mission complete. Boss, that was exceptional. Oh. Uh, we got rank A. Yeah, that's probably because it took too long. That's okay. I can get um I can get rank S on a repeat, and actually I'm gonna be repeating that mission a lot. Um because that mission is a great uh training ground for a particular character that I'm going to be picking up later in the game. So I love taking them there to train them up. So, anyway. How you feeling, boss? Getting used to being in the field again? Having choppers and horse at your disposal is indispensable for operating in the wilds of Afghanistan. I've gone ahead and arranged for you to be able to develop and customize weaponry for support choppers. Great. And you can also develop new equipment for D-Horse if you like. Use your iDroid to start development as needed. It's a stupid name. Oh yeah, special volunteers. Um, these, I think, are part of the definitive experience or whatever. Anyway, they're pretty good for this point in the game. And that's the guy that we extracted. He's the um, commander, and an A-plus soldier at this point in the game is really good. So, yeah. Ooh, we got a troublemaker. Troublemakers are not good. That's a, a negative skill, if you want to call it that. You gotta watch out for them. Like, troublemaker violence, basically that means that they'll get into fights with other um, soldiers on your base and injure them. Side like ops list By connecting your iDroid to the onboard computer, you turn the chopper into your own aerial command center, or ACC. Some elements of staff assignment and R&D of weapons and items can only be performed from there. Take as long as you need to consider all your options. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let's see what there is to develop. Please specify a project. Okay, we got a capture cage. Now this won't come into play right now, but it will later on, definitely. This will allow us to capture um, smaller sized animals out in the wild, and that Please definitely has a use a in the game. Uh, these are different things that we can develop for D-Horse to wear, uh, barding and stuff. Uh, battle dress actually has a use because it protects him in battle. These are just cosmetic. Um, Western Tech and Parade Tech. They don't really do anything. They're just for show. And helicopter, these are different things. Please you can specify for a project. Now, speaker. This allows you to play music um, when the helicopter is landing and taking off. I love the speaker. <laughs> it can play any track that you want. Either one of the tracks that the game has, or even a custom track. Any um, any song that you put in the custom music folder. So it can be literally anything. You can put Britney Spears in there if you really want to. Although, why you would want to is beyond me, but whatever. Uh, this is all of my resources from uh, previous playthroughs. Uh, all of my you know, uh, metals and re fuel resources and all that this is an encyclopedia, if you want to know what the animals are in the wild. This is the documentation you'll pick up during the course of the game. So, yeah, this is all boring stuff. And these are the side ups we can do right now. Please select a landing zone. I'm going to do this right now. 
extract an interpreter. Because I really, really need one. Let's go. It's really easy. We need to pick up a Russian interpreter because we need to be able to interrogate uh, Russian soldiers. The side ops list is comprised of problems we need you to resolve. Objectives to be completed, and information gained from the soldiers and prisoners you've extracted. These aren't missions per se, but if you can take care of them when you're free, I'd appreciate it. Five bucks. Alrighty. Let's get prepped for this. There's one other very important Sound of a doggy barking. That wild dog pop. He's a tough little guy. Oh, boss, this is no time to be playing with here animals. he comes. <gasps> what are you gonna oh, do, aren't you precious? You're the most precious little puppy. And guess what? You are coming home with me. <laughs> yes. See you back at home. <laughs> Roger that. We'll pick him up. And remember that little guy because he is going to be very, very important. And I'm not even kidding. He really will be very, very important. Yeah. And now for the other important thing. Yeah. The Russian interpreter. We found out there's an English-speaking soldier somewhere in the region. He's a language specialist. His role is to translate information related to the West into Russian. If we can get him to join us, we'll have the upper hand in information warfare. Find his language specialist and extract him. Yeah. Sorry to confuse you guys. The, the, the puppy was not the language specialist. That's the target. Hey, the puppy was adorable. <laughs> Наверное, работает в переводческом отделении аналитики западной разведки. Я часто вижу у тебя свет допоздна. Да, я всегда читаю газеты и журналы с той стороны. Я даже думаю, speaking Russian, have no idea what they're saying. Научи меня каким-нибудь клёвым выражением. На случай, если я вдруг встречу американца. Хорошо, повторяй за мной. I spent. I spent. Last night. Last night. With your girlfriend. With your girlfriend. Это было неплохо. Правда? What is he teaching him? Я друг твоего приятеля. Ого, это действительно полезно. What kind of English lesson is this? В этой холодной войне, да? Точно. Эти слова могут спасти твою жизнь. Last night with your girlfriend. Конечно. That Soviet soldier in the Green Beret is speaking English. Must be a language specialist. With him on our side. Okay. Let's. Uh, I can't really interrogate them yet, but. Well, actually. You know, uh, actually, if I go ahead and Fulton him now, I could go ahead and uh, interrogate these other two guys. Because I think the effect is immediate. Side op completed. Extraction arrived at mother base. Unit function added. Boss, that language specialist you extracted has been very cooperative. <laughs> Says he's always dreamed of living a free life, like folks in the West. What are the odds, huh? I've gone ahead and placed him in the support unit. His job is Russian interpretation. Now you'll know what Soviet soldiers are saying. You can even interrogate them. Should give you an edge in the mission. Okay. Time to start interrogating. I don't need him more. Where are your friends? Alright. 
I got an attitude, but whatever. You're still coming home with me. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Don't need ammo. Where are your friends? That's obvious. Bye! <laughs> So, that's it for this place. Um, the next, yeah, it's all the way over there. So we could probably just go ahead and return. Yeah, this is the quick way to return to your helicopter. You don't have to um, call for it on your iDroid. If you're not in the middle of a mission, just do that. And it instantly returns you. Alright. Oh, yeah. I uh, got a daily bonus. Um, MB coins. These are like online currency. You can purchase them with real world money. Please um, select a land. But you also can get them sometimes as a daily bonus. I've purchased board operating bases before with MB coins. Um, I'm not going to really go into detail about that. I'll go in more into detail about that as they come up. But anyway, um, I don't really think I need anything as far as the loadout goes. I'm pretty sure I don't, but I'm probably going to go ahead and deploy. I mean, this is a really easy one. Remembering it correctly. In fact, I probably could have just left some stuff behind, but it's okay, I've got a bunch of money. There is a deployment cost every time you deploy, so if you're trying to save money, the less you deploy with, the better. But since I've got a bunch of money, I don't really care. Do that, by the way. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Just alerted a bunch of people. Oh, oh well. <laughs> Who cares? Be careful down there, boss. Hey, boss. You see many animals in the field. Truth is, an environmental NGO has asked us to remove wild animals from combat zones. If you have the time, can you extract some back here? There's a reward in it for us. Uh, oh, I see a bear right over there. Let's go get a bear. What a great idea. I see, I, I definitely don't see this going horribly wrong for us. Let me take it down with my tiny little pea shooter. Hello, Mr. Bear. I'm going to shoot you in the face. Oh, God. He seems angry. Oh god! <laughs> that was not what I meant to shoot him with. <laughs> I just shot him with lethal rounds. I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. He's he's bleeding. I think I angered him. Mr. Bear, I'm so sorry. Have a, have a tranquilizer round on me. <gasps> Mr. Bear is angry. I don't blame you, buddy. I'd be angry too if I got shot in the face. If it's any consolation, I got a bunch of shrapnel in my head. Oh god! Oh god, I think I'm about to die. <laughs> Mr. Bear's gonna kill me! <laughs> oh. Mr. Bear, please! Uh, oh! <laughs> oh, I'm not dead! Oh god! <laughs> I'm gonna die. Anyway, this serves to illustrate that you really should not take on bears at this point in the game. Because <laughs> this happens. <laughs> oh my god. 
I totally lucked out. I cannot begin to tell you how lucky I am that he fell asleep. <laughs> I should be dead right now. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Okay. Words the wise. <laughs> Don't take on bears this early in the game. Not unless you're really, really good at dodging. I'm pretty okay at dodging, but if you're new to the game, you just whoa, whoa. Them. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. I'm just a little laughing about that. Okay. Anyway, that's our next target. By the way, if you plunge off of a high place, even if you're on your horse, you're still gonna die. Yeah. Because the impact. Yeah. While it won't kill your horse, it'll kill you. Yeah. So just be aware. Yeah. Yeah. The snake does not handle falls from high places very well. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! What are you? What are you doing? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Be coins yeah. or whatever. Stop. Yeah. The aforementioned it be coins. <sighs> they gave me more today. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I think this just serves to both introduce us to the concept of recruiting uh, highly skilled soldiers and avoid Looks like the enemy's on. lost sight of you. They're gonna try to hunt you down. And this serves to show you what happens when you blunder right into a sniper's line of sight. Like an idiot. <laughs> like I did. <laughs> Where are 
are your friends? The map has been oh, updated. Okay. I got 90% to full Neo. Hmm. I don't know, man. Is it worth it to full Neo? It's a cloudy night. Good enough failing. This could be a failure, dude. Still 90%. I don't know. Could fail the mission because you could die during transit. Let's risk it. Let's see what happens. Side ops list updated. Extraction failed. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The support unit just isn't skilled enough. If you want to increase the success rate of Fulton extractions in bad weather, you need to improve the support unit. Oh, this game. This game is an asshole. I can't believe it. <sighs> really? You know, this actually isn't the first time that uh, this happened on, on this mission. This very same. Well, not mission, but side you off. Have arrived in it was a cloudy night, and I was trying to fold in that very same guy. It was 90%. And they did the exact same thing to me. Yep. I almost wonder if it's like, like a pre scripted thing for it to fail. Because that just seems a little too. I don't know. Whatever. <clears throat> Convenient. I'm gonna take out his friends though. Because now I'm, I'm, I'm a little annoyed by that. Take out his stupid friends. I ought to kill them, but no, I'm not going to. I still need the personnel. Choke you out. And I'm gonna punch your other friend really, really hard. There we go. There you go. Heads up. Speak. I don't. Where are your friends? The map has been updated. Hope you die along with your friend. No one can hear you. Spit it out. Where are your subject on board? Leave the rest to us. You lost, loser. You make, me, you, you make me angry. I'm in a bad mood now because of you. Hope you die. Oh great, so they both make it, but the one that actually He's counted. Too. Roger that. Yeah, he didn't make it. That's yeah. That makes sense. Bite me game. Okay, I think I'm gonna wrap this up. Oh, we can actually get an upgrade for our helicopter. This will be an upgrade to the engines that'll make it go faster. Let's see Please if there's specify else. project. Flare supply, whatever. No, I don't need that. Um, to fetch Please data. What are you talking about? Project. Okay, <clears throat> there we go. Oh, and you'll notice that uh, Snake actually has an IV stuck in his arm. That's because he got really injured by the bear. So it's probably a good idea for him to go um, back to Mother Base so he can heal up, which I will show off next time, guys. Anyway, um, I think that's going to be it for this time. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. See ya.